Hi, so I'm everyone. Hope you're having a good Ramadan. Um, today we're going to be using a uh, Play-Doh craft. We're going to make some crafts out of Play-Doh. Um, I've decided we're going to do um, some little moon phases. It'll look like this. This is a kind of, I was just tying this up now, so it's not a great view right now. It keeps getting tangled. But once it stops spinning, you can see. But we're going to cut out little moons out of Play-Doh. And then as an example, you can just hang it from a little rod or something, or you can just put it on a on some yarn and hang them. But I'll do a little uh, instruction on how to actually make all of these. And they are toxic free Play-Doh, so it should be a fun little craft. And then after that, we can do another one. Um, I'll show you the other one. If you have time, we're just gonna have fun with the second craft. And it's gonna be on like little decorations. So if your mum or your dad also wants to do something really pretty, you can also make um, little colorful decorations like this. Now this is actually made of Play-Doh, can you believe it? I made this about six years, six, seven years ago, and they've lasted me this long. And it's simple to make, really easy, and I'll show you how. Um, obviously we don't have to do this, design you can do anything you want but um you know it should be fun so the supplies that you need you're going to need a rolling pin so let's just go through so you're going to need a rolling pin do you have your rolling pin everyone or something that you can roll out with maybe um a long pole of some some kind but a rolling pin is the best you can you should have three colors your three play-doh colors uh, if there's a couple, if you have two or three siblings and you've got even more colors to play with, and then you also should have in your pack uh, a straw. Now this is gonna, we need these to make the little holes in each of the Play-Doh shapes. So you should have in your pack some Play-Doh and a straw, that's all you need. Now, if you have any cookie cutters, that's great. Um, we're gonna start off with a round one. I actually don't have a round cookie cut, can you believe it? I actually have um, like a little star, like an Islamic star, as well as um, kind of a normal star. And I do actually have like a lantern and the moon. But if you don't have any of these, it's not a problem because we're just gonna need something circular. Now, I, I'm going to be using, um, you know, those jam jars. You just take the lid off. I'm just going to use one of those because I did not have a circular cookie cutter. If you haven't got one of them, don't worry. You can always use your Play-Doh. Once you take the Play-Doh out, you can use it as um, to make the shape with. So even if you don't have any cookie cutters, don't worry because we can use this. And if you don't have a rolling pin, don't worry because then we can always flatten it out with our hands as well. Okay, so um, is everyone ready? We're going to grab two colors. Let's see. So, okay, grab two of your favorite colors. I'm gonna use pink and blue. I'm gonna use these two colors. And I'm gonna, so the aim is we're going to make, can you see over here, little moon phases? We've got um, a small crescent. We've got a half a crescent, almost uh, two thirds of the crescent, a whole moon, and then it goes smaller again. So we're gonna make, make all of these. So really, uh, it should be simple to make. Um, so we're going to do like a galaxy effect. So it's going to be in terms of mixing two colors together. All right. So I'm just going to push this aside and I'm going to grab my two colors. Now we're not going to use the whole pot. Okay, let's open them up. We're only going to use maybe two thirds. And then again, if you don't have a round cookie cutter, like this one, it's not a cookie cutter. This is just the lid of a jam jar. And if you don't have that, where we can always use the, um, circle of the play-doh to make a, a circle moon shape okay so let's um take the two colors out from the container this one's a little tricky to get it out okay now we want to just take maybe two thirds of the color take a third of the color out and just put it back in a pot because we want to use um we want to save that for decorations later on and the same with the blue one just take a teeny bit maybe a third from it out and then put it back in a pot okay so you should be left with two colors i'm going to be using um the yellow and the blue now i have actually put a tray um of one of those plastic mats because when i roll out i don't want to roll out the play-doh onto the table just so and this is to protect the table now if you don't have a plastic mat you can always get some tin foil 
aluminum foil and you can put it on the table and then use that as a surface, yeah? Okay, so two colors. We're gonna start mixing them, but don't over mix it because then it will just turn, mine will turn totally green. So let's see, what colors do you all have? You have, oh, I got some nice color combinations there. Lovely. Okay, so don't over mix your colors. Okay, just give it like a little squidge because when you roll it out, it's going to get mixed up. So I'm going to just kind of slightly mix it. Can you see over there? Now I'm going to just clear my workspace because I need to roll my Play Doh out. Okay. Now, if you have, now go grab your round cutter. So you got something round everywhere like this. If you don't have it, again, you can use the Play-Doh jar, or if you don't have that, just, if you don't use that, you can also use um, a cup as well. Okay, so grab your rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, then maybe you can kind of squish it out as flat as you can with your hand. That's quite fun as well. So we're just gonna, just, we're, it's exactly how we're gonna be making cookies. No different. It's just, you can't eat this one. <laughs> so I'm not mixing mine too much. I'm just gonna roll it out. Now you wanna roll it out. You don't wanna leave it too thick because then when you dry the um, Play-Doh in the oven, it's gonna take a long time. So you wanna just make it thin enough. How thin should, I, should you make it? Maybe around um, maybe three millimeters, which is about one eighth of an, of an inch, which is about, I'll show you how thick this one is. This is about the star. Can you see? If you can see, it's about, I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom in. It's not too thick. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, so we don't want to roll it out too thin and you don't want to keep it too thick either, okay? So don't be afraid to pick it up and move it around. And if, if you're finding rolling out the plate a little difficult, just ask your mom or your dad or your older, older sibling or somebody who is around who's helping you right now. So you're just gonna roll it out. Now, can you see the colors are already mixing nicely? So we, we're probably only gonna get maybe two or one cup from here, depending on how big your um, cookie cutter is now. Yeah. All right. So I'm nearly done. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit more thinner. Like I'm baking food here. All right. Okay, so I think this is quite thin enough. Let me show you. It could be a little bit more thinner. So if you can see, it's, it's not too thin, but it's not too thick. It's, it's a good thickness so that I get a good shape from it. All right, so I'm just do a teeny bit more. Okay, so have you rolled out your um, Play-Doh? Yeah, give me a thumbs up if you have. Oh, looks like most of you have done that. Okay, so the first shape we're gonna cut out, we're gonna cut out the actual whole moon, like this one over here. Okay, so we're gonna grab our cookie cutter. I'm gonna find a spot where I can get two colors. Let's see if the other side looks any good. Okay, I like this side. So I like this side. I'm gonna put my cookie cutter on the area that I like where the pattern mixes nicely. Okay, and I'm gonna push down and do a cut. So that's my first one. So once that's done, Okay, now I don't know if, uh, maybe you might need a spatula. If you can't, if you need to pick it up, you can do that. Then you wanna grab your straw. Let's see if you can, let's have this. I got, uh, in your pack, there's a straw. And right at the top, we're gonna make a tiny little hole like this. Right at the top. And that's gonna be a hole so that we can put some string around it and hang it up. So you're gonna grab your straw once you've rolled it out and once you cut the hole from there, uh, cut your cookie cutter out, we're gonna just make a little hole at the top. And then that's our whole moon. So we've done one, okay? I'm going to just pick this up very gently and then just move it to the side. Okay, now if you want, you can take your second, you can take, you can do another cut from there, but mine doesn't have a mix of colors. So I'm gonna mix it up a little bit more. 
I'm just gonna, I don't wanna mix it up too much because then it will definitely turn green. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this out again and try and keep the same thickness. Now, if you find that you're not seeing the colors come through, you can always remix it because right now my blue is, the yellow is not coming through. So I might just go in and mix it some more. Or maybe all my yellow has got mixed in too much. <laughs> all right, so there we go. So here we go. Oh, is, mine is definitely turning green now. But we've got some nice galaxy colors coming through. Obviously, two colors that you use, the bright colors, contrasting colors that you use will give you a really nice um, mix of colors. All right, so I think I'm going to get two out this one. So I've rolled out my um, second one. It's round about the same thickness. Just do a little bit more. Okay, so with the second one, we're going to do it, the same thing again. We're going to cut a circle, but this time we're going to do half a moon. Okay, so we're going to cut a circle. Now, um, some of the tools we might need, you might need um, like a little knife, a kitchen knife, um, or a plastic, you know, those plastic utensils that you have. Um, you can use that to do some detail work and to cut the moon in half. I actually have, because, um, I do a lot of art and creative work. I actually have one of those small steel rulers, but I, you probably won't have that. But I'm sure if you have, uh, ask your mum to just use a butter knife, you can just do a simple cut in, and then you wanna cut the moon in half. So now we have half a crescent. So if you don't have, obviously you might not have a ruler like mine, you can just get, um, maybe use a spatula or a kitchen butter knife and just cut right through the middle. Okay, and that will give us our half moon. Okay, now again, so we've got a whole moon, whole moon has been made. Again, now we're going to um, do a little hole on either side at the top. So on one side, we're going to just make a little hole there, and right next to it, just twist it so that the play doh comes out, and then right next to it, we're going to make another hole right next to it over there. So now we have got three moons made. I'm going to carefully pick this up. So when you pick it up, be very careful that it doesn't, you don't squish it together. Exactly like cookies. Okay, you can see we're nearly, actually nearly there. I don't know if you can get closer. Here we go. So we've got our whole moon and two half moons. Okay, I have space to make another cut, another circle over there. How's everyone doing? So far so good? Yeah, are you all following? All right, just to recap, we have rolled out our Play-Doh. Uh, we've mixed two colors together. Um, we rolled it out. Um, the first one, we used a circular cookie cutter. I did not have a cookie cutter. I just had um, a jam jar lid. If you don't have that, you can always use the actual shape of the, the Play-Doh cut and use that. Um, we're gonna, we cut our moon out as such, and we just twist it round like that. And we just take off the remaining. And then that's our whole moon. And then we've got our Play-Doh, uh, the straw in our pack and then we cut a little hole. So that's how we made the first moon. The second, the second moon, we actually did the same process and then we just basically cut it right in the middle and that'll be our half moon. Um, you can use, again, you can use your kitchen knife, um, just a butter knife. I'm using a steel ruler. So if you, obviously if you, if you don't have that, just use what you have that has a straight edge that you can cut, that you can just kind of cut the Play-Doh. And um, sometimes if you have Play-Doh, you, you have little utensils in there. Okay, so this is a, this one is gonna be slightly more tricky, but we're gonna get two more moons from this. It's so simple. We're gonna use our cookie cutter again, and watch this everyone. Let's have eyes on here. We wanna place it so that we can get, create a moon. So here's our whole 
a whole move and then we're going to just place our cookie cut just kind of one third of the way in and then we're going to cut it like that so now you have a little crescent and you have a third two thirds of the moon i don't know if it has a name if anyone knows if it has a name then let me know okay so we we put our um cookie cutter cut a third way to get a crescent and then we pushed it down to get two moons. So we're, almost, we're actually almost done with this craft. This is so simple. All right, so once you've done that, let's see, how's everyone doing? Any questions? All right, give me a thumbs up if you're doing okay. Yes, looks like you guys are. All right, okay. So we're all we're actually almost done with this this the moon part. Okay, so grab your straw again. We are going to. I'll show you where you need to cut the hole. So we. I'm just going to move this to the side so you can see it a bit more. So you have your crescent moon. We're going to just put a hole right at the top with the straw, and then again right at the top of that one there so now and then um now we have two more so we have the crescent we have a two one kind of two thirds a half a moon a whole moon and we just need to make one more okay so i'm gonna pick this up and just put it on the top out the way and same with this one now but be very careful when you pick up the crescent because it's very delicate now my Play-Doh has turned totally green now. <laughs> if you want, you can add some more color in, but I'm gonna just keep it like this for now. Okay, so I'm, we, all we need to do is make one more move. Oh, I have some nice colors going through this one now. All right, so let's try and make them all even. All right. Okay, so once you we're up, we should be on our last moon. I hope we're all following. We're gonna get our cookie cutter. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this space here because we have some nice green, yellow, and blue happening. So I'm gonna cut a big circle right over here. Oh, nice one. We have a picture of the moon phases. All right. Any questions? All right, so the last time we did a crescent to one side now we want to go to the opposite side and put a small little crescent on the other end now okay so first time we cut the hole we put depending on which way you're seeing this i put i put the crescent on one side we want to do the opposite side now so we're going to move it over try and get roughly the same size as the first crescent place it in just kind of eyeball it and then just push down like that and then, so as you can see, can you see the uh, small crescent and we have the two thirds? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get the straw and we're gonna go and make a little hole. You don't wanna go too far to the edge because then it will break, but just close enough. And then when you, when you put the straw in, just wiggle it around. Let's wish it go around kind of left and right a little bit. All right, so I have done mine. I have made my moon. Let me just get it ready and show you how it looks. So here's the ruler. So we're gonna start off with the yellow one. I have my whole moon. And then I have my one third. Let's put that there. And there's the, I mean, sorry, the two third and two third moon. And then I'm going to have my half moon on one side and the other half moon on this side. And then I have my crescent moon there. And then I have this crescent moon over there. So this is what you should have at the end. Now, feel free to use any of the other three colors um, to do some little detail. I'm going to leave mine because I think it looks really nice as is. But when you hang it up, um you can just let you can just let that hang oh i actually like the galaxy colors that's coming through it's very space-like 
I'm sure some of you use some really fancy, some really nice color combinations, but you can go, you can go on there and you can do, maybe you might want to write Ramadan, R on one, R-A-M-A-D-A-N, you can do that, two letters in the middle. Um, you can use a toothpick. Um, I actually have, I actually have some fancy stuff. I actually have all these sculpting tools because I have done some um, other like uh, clay work and stuff. But again, you know, I have some basic things such as knives, you know, plastic knives and forks, and they are amazing. You can get some really nice patterns with them. Even with a toothpick, an old toothbrush, you can use any of those. Um, so if you really like, um, if you really like, playing with play-doh and you have you can get these sculpting tools okay so the next stage once you have um completed the first moon phase you need to actually get a cooking tray um like this and we're going to place our moon faces on here and then we're going to pop this in the oven but we'll do this we'll, we'll pop the, everything in the oven right at the end so i'm going to just put all my moon faces on the tray and get out of the way so we can do that our last craft okay so I'm going to just pick up the moon. <clears throat> All right. So here's the tray. So I've just got a basic cooking tray and I've lined it with aluminium foil. And what you want to do is just put your moon phases on there when you're done. And then we can pop it in the oven and you want to keep it in the oven at a really low temperature around 200. I actually did test it out and put it up to 230, but it started to burn and bubble. So that's what you don't want to do. So you might have to keep it in the oven depending on how thick your moon is. Um, Mine's not too thick, but it's going to take at least two hours. Just regularly open the oven. So mum, dad, or older sibling, just, just keep going. And when you open the oven, just tap it to see if it's dried out. It will take two to three hours to um, get hard. Now, if you don't want to put it in the oven, you can always let it air dry, but it's going to take a lot longer to air dry. So um, just put it in the oven, forget about it, but just keep it a really low temperature so it doesn't burn. And when it's dry, when it when you take it out, it should be nice and dry so that you can actually hang it up like this. So you can see, you can actually hang them. Um, it should, and mine, I did this this morning and they're fairly dry, just a little bit soft, a little, a little bit like um, soft cookies, but over time it will harden up. So that's part one of the craft. The second one, how's everyone doing? Have you all done your moon phases? Can I have a look? Yeah. Any questions? Let's see, okay. Oh, you don't have to hold it up. Just show me in the tray if you have it in the tray, but very nice. Oh, I like your half moon. Oh, very, very nice, Ali family. Anyone else want to show me what they've done? Daniel yeah, wants to show brother, um, uh, Me and my little brother each made um, them. So we you each made separate ones. That's great. So when you hang them up, you're going to have so many moon phases on there. Now, does anyone have any other cookie, interesting cookie shapes? Shall I show you some of my cookie shapes? Yes, Jasmine, you can, you can do it. Okay. Oh, nice one. I, you have a little mosque one. Very nice. I have one of those too. Actually, I have um, a little mosque like that. Oh, here we go. I have a mosque. I don't know if you can see it. Here you go. And I also have a big moon. I bought these a few years ago. And then um, I have, oh, I have a lantern like this. You see a lantern and then a little geometric star. So the last part, you should have some Play-Doh left over. So here's the other fun part. So if you have some more Play-Doh left over, I have some yellow, 
and I have some, um, I have some more. So I'm going to just move the tray to the side because I've done my moon faces. And the last part, grab your favorite cookie shape. I'm going to grab, um, I have pink, blue, and yellow. These are my last bits of um, colors. So I'm going to probably make, I'm going to make a pattern with this. Now, I also have some leftover from, I actually have green mixed from the earlier one. Now, I made these years ago. Can you see? I made this about five, six years ago. With my, I actually did this for myself. But my kids made some as well. Um, but you know, you can have loads of fun. Um, but these were small ones. Um, you can always use your favorite cookie shape and you can put, like I have a little moth, you can put a little door and a window. You know, you can put a little detail. If you're really adventurous, you can put a little person in there. <laughs> um, there's a lantern as well. You can have fun with a lantern and you can put little stripes of color in there. And then you've got the geometric. I have a geometric. Now, if you, if you don't have fancy shapes, don't worry. You could, you might even have a Texas long or a long horn or a Texas shape one. I think I have them somewhere. Um, I'm going to um, do the geometric shape. But again, I'll just show you how to basically make um, a pattern. You know, I'm gonna, so with the, the I'm just gonna take a little bit so here's my last color. I haven't touched this. I'm just going to break it in half so that I can use it, use the remaining for detail. And I'm just going to make one cookie shape out of this one. So it's going to be a, the base color for this one. For mine will be pink. Now your color will depend on your third um, Play-Doh color, whichever one you have left. Um, again, it's really simple. You just want to roll it out so that it's, let's move this side, roll it out so that it's, big enough for the cookie cutter just measure it on that there we go I think mine went a little bit thin so I'm going to re-roll it it went too thin on one end so the good thing about play-doh is that if you mess up you can always re-roll it and start again so this part is restart you can do whatever you want and you can decorate it however you want as well <clears throat> Okay, so here we go. I think that should fit. I'm gonna cut my star out, wiggle it a little bit, and then just take the remaining away, add it to that. All right, so here's my star. Now you can have fun. You can just look at the corners, depending on what shape you make. I'm going to use, let's say for example, I'm gonna do little dots in the corner. I'm gonna take off a little bit of yellow, and I'm just gonna roll it around in my hand until I have, a circle and let's see what can I do maybe I'll put one I'm going to flatten it first like that and I'm going to pick it up and put it right in the middle so the good thing with play-doh is that you don't need to um do you just need to squish it down like this okay you don't need to apply any glue nothing I'm sure you guys all know, I'm sure you kids have used Play-Doh before. And let's say I'm gonna make some petals, I'm gonna make some blue petals. I'm just gonna pop, pop off a little of that and roll it in my hand. And let's see, what can we do? Or maybe I'll flatten it. Maybe make it into a little triangle or something. And let's see, you could do that. And there you go, you've got a little, petal over there and you can have fun you don't have to do a flower you don't have to do um you can do anything you want anybody have any good ideas i'm not i'm not a teenager anymore so i don't know what's um what's fun to do anymore anyone have good ideas on what they would like to do a pattern of some kind let's like push it down a bit so i've got two there How's everyone doing? Did you all finish your moon faces, by the way? Yeah? So you're gonna squish it. I'm gonna just pinch the ends. There we go. Have. Look. I made this flower out of one of the shapes. You did? All right, I have to find who's, who's speaking right now. Oh, very nice. They look so good, I wanna eat them, but let's not eat them. <laughs> you know, after this, 
after you finish making your um, cookie, after you finish making all your decorations, you can go and make some real cookies because you'll be expert cookie cutters, won't you? You'll be an expert cookie cutter and then you can make some real cookies and eat them. And then these you can enjoy. So here's mine, my flower. There you go. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to do some little dots around the corner now. So I'm going to take smaller parts and roll it up in my hand and just kind of like put dots in the corner like that. And don't be afraid to just kind of push it in. You want to keep around about the same size. Just roll it up. I'm going to put one over there, squish it down. And same with this one, as you can see. I haven't used Play-Doh in such a long time, I've forgotten how much fun this is. There we go, like that. Now, if you want, because it looks a little bit plain, I think I'm gonna layer it up a bit. Have you laid yours up? So I'm gonna kind of get a different color and I'm going to put it on the petals like that and I'm gonna squish it down a bit. and get some nice colors going and um, then just squish it down. Now, when you um, bake this in the oven, um, make sure you put it on a low temperature around 200 degrees. Anything above that, it may burn and it might bubble up. So just keep it in the oven for, you know, keep it in there for at least two hours and then go and check. Um, and then once you've, uh, just randomly go and check. If it's still soft in the middle, then it needs a little bit more hardening. You can always uh, kind of um, take it out two hours and just, by two hours, it, majority of the moon, like this one, this I did this morning, um, it did dry. I actually had it a little bit too high and it bubbled up, but keep it um, 200, by, by two hours, most of it will be hard. It's still slightly soft, but it's hard enough. But then you can leave this out overnight and maybe tomorrow it should be fully dry. Now, if you find that some of your designs fall off, because they might, the good thing about Play-Doh is that if something falls off like this, you can get a little bit of water and you can dab it on there and, it, and it, the water acts like the glue and you can re-stick your design back on. So if something like, for example, this popped off after I baked it and it pops off, it comes off, then all you have to do is just put a little dab of water on the back and then fix it back on and it acts like glue. So there you go. So simple. So my yellow is looking a little bit, a little bit lonely. So I'm gonna put a little green dot in the middle like that. There we go. And have fun, just layer up your designs. You can mix your colors. And I'm sure mum might want to come along and do one of her own decorations because that's what I did. Now, if you have any toothpicks or anything detailed, you can come in and you can, um, let's say, for example, you can then just do like little dots around the corner and do some detailing like such. If you just want to have some fun, you can do that. You can use a toothpick or you can even use a fork. Um, and you can use um, just use the, the prongs of the fork as well. So you can just have fun. So we're actually nearly done with the craft. I'd love to see what you guys have all made. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave you. I think I've shown you what to do. So I'm going to put mine in the oven. So I'm going to pick this one up and just pick it up and pop it in the oven. Now, this one's slightly thick because of the details. So it might take a little bit longer to bake. But I'm going to put all mine like this. I've done all mine. So I'm going to put all mine in the oven like that. I'm just going to leave it in for a few hours. And then when you're done, you should have your little moon. And don't forget, you can always put some yarn around some, a, a dowel of some kind or a skewer, just wrap some yarn and then you can hang them. I've used acrylic string, but you can use um, cotton string, you know, that's for sewing, or you can use embroidery thread whatever you want, anything that will look nice, but when it's, when it's done, you can hang it up like this. 